learn how to manifest power. Our problem is that we accept everything. We take everything as God wants it. We will accept it. Everything that comes to your way. You must read the scripture. One man of God said to me, Daddy Ebuka, only what I need from you is to place your hand. One priest, pray for me to begin to quote the Bible the way you quote. I said, my father, there is nothing like impartation in quoting the Bible. Go and read it in the morning. Read it in the afternoon. I read it in the night. I said, but your own is unique. I said, my father, there is no uniqueness in my own. Read it in the morning. Read it afternoon. In the night, I'm beginning to cram it. There is nothing like lay hand for me to begin to quote the Bible. Every time somebody will be telling you, I will deal with you. If I finish with you. Until I finish with you. That person is bragging. Why the person continue to brag? Is because you don't know who you are. I told you last year that when people say I give you seven days, you can tell them I give you three days. Listen to me, you evil uncle. You cannot do more than a hanging panty. Hear me right now. Oh, you evil uncle. First Peter 2 verse 9. I am a choosing generation, a holy nation, a royal priesthood. God's own purchase. Look, 10, 19. I shall march upon scorpions and dragons and overcome all the powers of the enemy. But none shall by enemies hurt me because I am indefatigable. I am Athanatos. I am more than human destruction. Colossians 3, 3. I am hidden in Christ and Christ is hidden in God. Therefore, before you can kill me, you will first of all kill Jesus before you get to me. Power in the word of God. Many of us have been defeated because we lack the word of God. You accept everything people said about you. You will not prosper. Nobody has ever prospered in your family. And because of that, you have accepted wretchedness. Because they say that in your lineage, nobody can prosper. And inside your mind, you have already accepted it. That is why you will be poor and your children will be poor. Because you accepted it. But every day, a day you will wake up, you will say, no. My background cannot keep my back on the ground. I am a choosing generation. I am a special species. What stop my father cannot stop me. What stop my mother cannot stop me. Any day you wake up like this, you will begin to see the power of God. You will begin to have a different. They say you will be poor. He said, no, I am a candidate of blessing. Because Genesis 22 verse 7 Papa said, in terms of blessing, I will bless you. In terms of multiplication, I will multiply you. And your seed shall possess the gate of their enemy. Second Corinthians 8 verse 9. He made himself poor that I may be rich. Syriac 11 21. My God can make a poor man suddenly and instantly rich. He has the keys of David to open a door and no man will close. Revelation 3 verse 8. I have opened a door for you which no man can close. Isaiah 60 verse 11. Your gate shall be open day and night. Psalm 24 verse 7. Open you a chain gate that the king of glory we enter. Kingdom is not by story, it's by power. First John 4, 4, Papa says, fear not little children, you are of God. Greater is he who is in me than of the world. Romans 8 verse 1, there is no condemnation unto those who are in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Romans 8 verse 1, if God be for me, who can be against me? Romans 8 verse 7, in all these we are more than conquerors. Woo! You see, a child of God, you don't know whom you are. You are going to river to bed. See, one day, no one can question this time on me what I have. Um, Say it in English. <laughs> you are the one that's supposed to pop my water. There is power in the word of God. 
when you eat the word, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand. The little book out of the angel's hand. And ate it all. I ate it all. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. It was sweet in my mouth like honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, as soon as I have eaten it, my belly was bitter. My belly was bitter. Power in the word of God. The Bible says, my word is double eager sword. That is why the Bible says in Ephesians 6, 17, my word is the sword of the spirit. The Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 89, forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Psalm 119, verse 105, the Bible says, your word is lamb to my soul. The Bible says in Jeremiah 1 12, I am washing my word, the word of my prophet to fulfill it. The day you begin to quote, the day you begin to study, every situation has a word of God to back it up or to contradict it. You can sleep right now and wake up. You have a bad dream. You can just say no. I disagree with this dream. Because Isaiah 7-7, seven, seven, the Bible says, The plans of the enemy shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. When you say this, you are already contradicted that dream. But some of you will wake up and you dream where your mother died. You say, oh, what kind of dream is this? It will not be long your mother will die. You see in the dream where they are bobbing your hair in the dream. You wake up and say, what kind of dream is this? That money you have already eaten. Nothing, let me do six to one against this dream. I don't like it. You just eat. It didn't even say anything. It may not be long. It happened. You wake up and see where you are looking for your key. Where you are looking for your phone. In the dream. He says it doesn't matter. It will not be long. Your connections will disappear. Ah. But if you wake up and say, no. He set everywhere on fire. You will see you repossessing what they have taken away. You notice that every time you have disappointment, you can begin to say no. Because Joel 2, 27, 26, 25 made it so clear that he will restore for me the years that locusts and the canker worm have destroyed. And somebody said, how can you this? this, this. He said, no, I will do it. Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And your landlord or your madam in office has been tormenting you. Just go and get a liberation candle. Write his name. Wake up in the midnight. Use the word of God of Matthew 18, 18. Whatever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever I lose on the earth shall be loose in heaven. You can bind your ogre, bind him and drop him in one place. You can send him to hospital to take Akamu for four days until your exam. That lecture are tormenting you. You can wake up in the midnight and they bind him for two weeks in the hospital until he finish your exam before he will come back. Akata, one of my daughter, she came to me telling me, Daddy, my lecturer, one of my lecturer in Abiokuta, he vowed that I will not get my result until I sleep with him. And he has been disturbing me. I said, I don't worry, don't worry. This is two years. Others have gone to their service, but I have never. I said, I don't worry. Give me his picture. He brought his picture. We finished prayer. The man was admitted in, in, in a hospital. He was there having the dream of this sister. Oh boy, he called the girl. Please forgive me. Since I've been here, you are the one I'm seeing. Doctors found nothing, but I am weak to stand up. The sister said, Are you ready to give me my credential and everything? I said, Please, even from here, I'm signing it now. That was how the sister gets her results. A time has come when you begin to confront your Goliath. You don't run away from your Goliath. Tell that person, learn how to confront your Goliath. 